not a drop of white in it. Personal hey guys, welcome back to Golden Aesthetics. This is Artem with 1983 Mr. Olympia, Samir Banoj. I'm super excited to do this training series with the legends. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from the best. I've ever done it. Samir Banoj, thank you so much for taking me through this training. I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna train. You're gonna explain to people how, how to train back because you were known as the most aesthetic guy ever. But something that was truly talked about is your back. So we wanna learn how you built your back, how you got that All thickness, right. that Christmas tree. Because I know it's, it's, it, it came early. No, I'm here to train back. Okay. Really, I mean, we have all the all video the stuff, but we're gonna train okay. for real. Okay. So are you okay. ready? I, I'm ready. We're gonna get some I'm back. Ready. I know you got it all. I know you got wings to fly, but we'll show people, we'll show your fans, uh, your network, how we train back. We're gonna train back and we're gonna kill it. Definitely we're gonna kill it. That's wrong. All right, here we go. We got another bent over row, but this is assisted by a bench where we don't have much motion, no room for cheating right there. And Ar Artemis is doing it uh, as it's supposed to be done. And then all the way up and pause, flex the muscle. Yes, we're gonna feel it. Feel it, yes. All the way down, all the way up. Yes, sir, it's gonna explode. Let's go, all the way up, and all the way down. Stretch, all the way up. Yes, sir. Again, we don't count set and reps. We just go by how we feel and we want the muscle to really reach the maximum pump that's what we call it we kill it in another word just totally kill it five miles later there's another on the trail a nigga sweating bullets like he moving by the scale lights flash and life does too make a decision what the fuck you supposed to do when the law is in the rear view to serve no protection okay now this exercise right here it's not common I personally like it and it really have made a huge impact on my back. And Artem is gonna demonstrate this exercise and I'm gonna be spotting him. Tremendous exercise, try it and get used to it. At the beginning, it's not that easy. Let's go. We want to do something different. <coughs> you engage the back, the center of the back. You go up there, you, you flex hard, you pause, you feel your muscle, and you go all the way down, stretch until you kill it. Cruising by the cruiser, so they got to see who in it. A young black male with the intent to sell. Happy through the speakers, bump a little bit for real. Go easy on the gas, cause these cops now a shell. You know, I know most of you are aware I bent over, pulled down and stuff. But you know, you gotta go that extra mile and do other exercises where you can kick your back, get that maximum pump from all angles. So that's what we're doing. Not far from being off when I'm thinking just to run. It don't matter that I'm innocent when they point in the guns. My life is in the balance and I was never trained for this challenge. So to me, that's a lose-lose. This ain't the way we trying to make it on the news. This is what I like. That we don't care about mass. You got to have the class. You got to have that tiny waist to go with that beautiful muscle. You will never have a beautiful body if you're not wasted. And this is why I'm teaming up with the man right here. Artemis, he, he support that kind of look. Mass was class. I love it. Beautiful body. This is the way to go. We train to make our body beautiful. We don't train to make it ugly. If you plan it, I responded with a smirk. He shot a look back. My response was knee jerk. Let off with a warning. Consider myself blessed. Only if you alive can understand that stress. Looking good. Looking good. Thick. Thick as a brick. Personal license plate so they know it ain't rented. Cruising by the cruiser so they got to see who in it. A young black male with the intent. 747. Come on, spread him. Speakers bump Perfect. a little bit for real. Yep. Go Always easy like on the gas because these cops now in shell. Five miles later, there's oh, yeah. another on the trail. A nigga sweating bullets like he moving by the scale. 
Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We have to have a good back attack. Perfect. Lights flash and lights does too. Make a decision what the fuck you supposed to do when the law is in the rear view to serve no protection. Fire and shots off, no discretion. First impression. You know, actually, the light here, the outdoor light, it looks really, it looks good. Shit can be your last one. You visualize when you pass up. We know the stories and the scene is a. Well, here we go. We just finished the back workout. Um, let me tell you guys, this is. It's a bit different world for me because this is what true bodybuilding is all about and we tend to forget about what bodybuilding is because you have to also train with an artistic approach and that's what Samir Banut is and that's really, that's what sets really apart the, the golden era bodybuilders because when you ask them a question, how many sets, how many reps do you do? You can hear Samir say, you know, you just go by the feel and the same thing Tom Platt says that he's expressing himself with the set. It's not about the numbers, it's about the expression, the feeling, and that's what there's the difference with today, between today's bodybuilding and bodybuilding of golden days, and that's what we try to recreate and build our own, and uh, I'm very happy, and it's very surreal, I'm very honored at the same time to work with Mr. Olympia, 1983, Samir, but one of the most legendary physiques, and to be in his presence, and to be surrounded by this positive, charismatic energy, uh, the person that truly appreciates my physique, even though I'm not newer, on the level of Samir, but I work really, really hard to, to get somewhere at least close, and I, I definitely will because I have the drive and I have someone like Samir on my side. Man, thank you so much. Hey, man, my it pleasure. Means you, means de you deserve it. When I give you a praise, because you do really work hard, and I really do also appreciate the energy because you do in bodybuilding, even though we can, we we don't really have to keep saying old school, whatever. Yeah. But that's the right way to do bodybuilding. We train with intensity, with passion, and we keep one thing in mind, is we want to better our body. We don't care about being the 900 pound gorilla. We want to have a beautiful body. And when you look at his body, Artemis displayed great wide shoulders, great thickness in his back and shoulders, chest, and, and he has got that tiny waist, and that's what's really helping, and that, that's why he's very impressive. That's why he's got a huge follower because he's got a pretty body. So it's not about just the pretty body. <coughs> I, have, I, I guess my, my but, but personality is pretty body. Prettier than my that, <laughs> but that's all right. Hey, hey, you, you can have both. You can have both. But that's absolutely. You can be as modest as you want, but absolutely. it's really good because yeah. I look at your pictures. Yeah, yeah. You do have a nice line, and this is what really people out there like. Yeah. You know, people trying to move away from that fucking refrigerator look. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, waste, being wasted, it makes a lot of, of sense. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, a lot of guys, <coughs> they get discouraged because they feel like it's all about the waste. But uh, I, I think that's my, that's my conclusion through, through seeing so many different physiques. Even from the golden era, you can still work around it. And building a big bag that's with you through the day is going to help you with that symmetry. If you have a, a thick waist or white hips, it's just your genetics, you can still build the, the physique that's going to shine. If you look at Larry Scott, you look at Arnold, they didn't have very tiny waist. If they had pretty white hips. Yeah, but you normally won't really add up if you train hard and you really follow the sensible, sound nutrition that we, you do. I know how you eat. So really, it's no brainer. All you got to do is train hard, eat clean, recuperate, and display some artistic things. When he does that's, pictures, yeah, he makes it pretty. When you, start, start, <coughs> when you start posing with art, that's what the beauty comes out. Instead of, you know why, I, I don't know what it is, but when I look at 300 pound man going crazy on stage and putting their, putting their tongue out. And that face. It's so, yeah, it's so disgusting. It is. The general public would want to see 300 pound man squeezing their muscle on stage showing their teeth. Suffering. It's, the, yeah, this and is, it's like this, ugly. Uh, this is and ugly. I'm like, WWF, come on, I want to get, no, 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 this is different. Yes. You want to show That's the beautiful physique that you built? Chloe physique. And you show it was an art form, man. It's an art. It's beauty. We, we're going to continue this series. We're going to continue training with the lads, <coughs> to training with Samir, and, and learn from them. There is, you know, when, when you think you know everything, you really know nothing. And there is, you can learn so much from the sport. Yeah. You can learn so much from the best bodies, yeah. the best physiques that have worked with. It, it never ends. It really never ends. We all learn from each other. And I'm still learning, and I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. And we are happy and honored to 
bring to the new kids on block what we do and how it should be done really in uh, after years you, of experience. You know what, like back in the day there was no such <coughs> thing as social media so it was kind of hard to get to the you know to the to the houses and, and people all around the world right now we have this opportunity it's being here and thousands of people are gonna see this training gonna gonna learn from this so it's, it's a great great opportunity for you guys to learn to get the knowledge from the best in the world. Samir thank you so much again. It's been a great pleasure. Samir Banud line of Lebanon guys baddest t-shirts <laughs> Baddest hoodies, baddest clothing line in the industry today, guaranteed. I don't cut corners, it's all about quality, just like my physique, my content, it's all about quality. And I am very honored to, to make this stuff for legends like Samir. So you can guys visit my website, goldenaesthetics.com, and get the gear that you're gonna wear with pride, and you're gonna actually support, support this concept, support the old school, and support the true bodybuilding, the artistic bodybuilding, and give some love to the legend that you deserve. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Samir, if you good want to, to have you, words. good to have you, really. It's great to come down we you know I know this video come about you know you we're doing it but we really came in to train back and so what you see is what it is it's no acting here and so if we have this footage for you enjoy it we will do more real training for you and good to be with you buddy Thank always you so much. You subscribe and go to aesthetics.com sounds good all right my man we killed them next time look out for more <laughs> continuation quiet street to enforces this extermination through your mind runs the situation mike shot with his hands held high <laughs> good one man oh man samir the great buddy I'll see you tomorrow.